Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. It's been the best part of a week since I've been on Skyrim, so excuse my button fingers if I hit all the wrong things. Uh, we're exactly where we're at the end of part four. And we're still using the mod for uncap, uncap FPS. So anything up to 60, it's very, very smooth at the moment. Get the odd jitter here and there, but it's definitely better than playing it in 30. And I've kind of decided not to play it on the PlayStation until we see some kind of patch for it because I did notice going back to the 30 was a bit hard after playing it on the, with this mod on. The downside, of course, as I've said in the other playthrough parts, is the achievements are off. So, you know, you still get a bit jittery from time to time, but, you know, in the main part, it's much smoother like this. Right, we're on our way to the Greybeards, I think. Where's our marker at? We ended up on a bit of a cliff here. I've also managed to sort out the fact that my music wasn't on. I uh, can't remember if I did that in the last part or if this is the first part of music. It was turned down in my, my menu for some bizarre reason. That I can't remember. Hey, I'm not overly sure how I've ended up on this ruddy great ledge. <laughs> We crossed over a, I know why, we crossed over a ruddy log somewhere, here it is. I think, I think we need to be on that side, don't we? Let's just check. No, Stephen. Where's my map? I thought there was a quick way into the map. Well, I don't know. It's over here. But we need to go first and then we need to go up there. Yeah, I think we do. I think we need to be over the other side in order to get to Iverstead. Or Everstead, however you want to say it. Let's go back over. Proof we were here before, the dead woman lying there. Don't fall off now, Lydia. Oh, where is Lydia? <laughs> where the hell's Lydia gone? Did she not follow me over that? Hello, Lydia, we get. Oh, there's a little bridge down there, look. All right, okay, we'll see if she catches us up. She was definitely there when I started talking to all you. She'll reappear when she's well, good and ready, I suppose. Hmm. Well, this seems to be taking us back up the hill, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose. Right, keep going. Oh, here's a thing. Here would be a thing, people. Here would be a thing. There you go. Clairvoyance. Tells us where to go, doesn't it? Right. Very handy. Wow. It is super smooth, isn't it, with that mod on? Oh, yeah. Go on, Bethesda. Give us a 60 frames per second patch. You know you want to. Even looking up at the beautiful moon. Hey, got myself a bunny friend. Hey, Lydia. Come on, then. <laughs> I knew you'd make it. I had every faith in you. Oh, this is this is really nice for the soul. I've just been playing for the last number of days. I've been playing Demon Souls and Dark Souls Three. <laughs> I bet my my soul had gone into a very dark place. People, it's nice to be in a world like this.
Well, we're definitely going the right way. It's amazing how you can run through this world for a while. Oh, hello, there's a troll. Has he seen us already? The hell? I thought I took some health off him and he's got full health again. Oh, he's coming. Oh, okay. I need to go to my old faithful now. goes. I thought I'd lost Lydia there for a minute, but she's back up. There is a light that heals Lydia as well, but not this one. Marvellous. Oh, we're not far away from a level up. Nearly level six. Nice work, Lydia. You did your part. You did your part there. Got a cave troll. You have any goodies? Take a bit of leather. Large antlers. Don't know why I took that meat. I can hear something making a noise. Is it one of those weird plants or is it, uh, what is it? The troll skull. I can't remember if there's a reason for, uh, no, it's a tusk, isn't it, the woman wants in the market. Yeah, there it is. Nain root. Makes that noise. I remember it well. Well, while we're on with it, let's have a little bit of a clairvoyance. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's brilliant. Right. Even even across the water, when you're panning around the water and stuff, dead smooth. The power. The ultimate power in the universe, people. Oh, that's gone a bit wonky, isn't it? Or is that meant to be snow? <laughs> I feel like the ground's gone a bit weird there, people. What's, or is it meant to just be snow starting? My eyes went funny. Yeah, I think it's just meant to be snow. Oh, no, it's not. There you go. <laughs> it was taking it a while to load in, wasn't it? This could be the thing with mods, though, people, that you do get a few bugs with the mods on. Which is why an official patch would be nice. Wow, check that out. Either stead. I knew we'd get there, people. I had every faith. Let's 
Let's annoy the guards with our swords out, shall we not? The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. I'm aware, my friend. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? What's making you so angry? My business is falling apart. My apprentice never listens to me. And now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Anything I can, uh, anything you can tell me about Hire Horothgar? I don't think she's going to give us a... Ooh, she's going to ask us to kill a bear. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. And you having a problem with the bear? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Okay. It's just one of those little quests you can pick up on the way, but I don't want to bring you all the pelts because I want the leather to do stuff with. How could bears run out, of, run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Right. Okay. It's the inn. Oh, we don't actually have to speak to anyone here, do we? I don't know why it was pointing to here. When my quest says that I'm supposed to be going up there, yeah. I think it was just helping you get round to where you're meant to start, maybe, for you going up the mountain. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? What's our weight like? It shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. 159 of 300. Although, mm, that's an inn. Is there a shop here? And if there is, it won't be open at the minute, will it? Kill Max House. Right. Let's see if we can remember our way up the mountain. I thought the... I thought there was a guy that used to stand at the bridge and says, do this for me on your way up. Yes, it is saying go that way, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to take us out into the open world. Let's go this way. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? Ah, it could be this bridge I was thinking of. Indeed it is. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to Hyde Rothgar. All right there, Triple H. <laughs> right, some Passing through on your way to Hyde Rothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Anything you can tell me about Harothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. And what types of deliveries do you make to High Harothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. 
The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Marvelous. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Right, so you've never seen a frost troll then. Watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Honestly, I'm not certain. Hello, my friend. To be allowed what can I do for you on such a fine day? You seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. Isn't that all that matters? It is, my friend. Anything you can tell me about High Harothgar? I just thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there. But I bet the Greybeards know. Fare you well. Well, we kind of know where we're going now. Let's put our flames on. And I think we'll have a little save because I don't think we have done for quite some time. Ram. Or mountain goat, but it looks more like a ram. Yeah, draw distance is doing right. Still see the mill working and everything. Hello, my friend. What you say? Barknar. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. No one has mentioned this frost troll yet, which I know is up there. Did you hear the greybeards call Doverkin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. And what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Mm -hmm. Very well. I'm going to assume by the by the very nature of being called a greybeard, you can't be young. <laughs> You've got to be old to be a greybeard, which makes you wonder where they come from. They could have padawans, I suppose, called no beards, or.
Uh, Lydia? Seems to have vanished again. Yeah, it's still doing well with your frame rate, isn't it? Even with all that going on. Is it perfect? No, but you know, a little bit jittery here and there, but. Yeah, I think it's starting to struggle a little bit with all that going on in front of it for whatever reason. I mean, if anything, it's just dropping back down to 30, isn't it, I think? Yeah, it's back to smooth again. I think I'd rather play it like that than always have it at 30, to be honest. It could get aggravating in a fight, I suppose. Look at that. Brilliant. A proper patch from Bethesda would, you know, might give us a solid 60. Hello, my friend. Carita. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to higher yes. Well, everybody keeps telling me that, Carita, but no one's mentioned the snow troll, the frost troll, whichever it's called. Did you hear the Greybeards call Doverkin? Just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. No problem. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Mm. Fare you well. Right. Pretty sure we've got a snow troll. A uh, snow troll? Yeah. Frost troll. Up here. Could do with the save, couldn't we really? Pretty sure I try and do as much damage as possible with a... Because I think you can... Yeah, there he is. I think you can kind of catch him a little bit off guard and get a bit off of him. This could end in tears, couldn't it? Yeah, I didn't get much off him, to be fair. Seems to get stuck there, did you, mate? Oh, fuck, she's down. Nice, you're right, Lydia. You're right, girl. <laughs> awesome. That was a little save after that, to be fair, would be quite we'll do a quick save, will we? Ooh, level ups. Level up and ride your pony. Right, well yeah, I've been doing the old magicas for a bit, haven't I? Maybe I should do a, a stamina, try and pull that up a little bit. We've got kit on that's bringing us up to a higher level, which is why they're all green. So. Yeah, I'll go for a bit of uh, stamina, I think. 
kind of doing all right with the Magickers at the minute, I think. Well, saying that, I still run out a couple of times, don't I? I'm using it a hell of a lot, though. Keep everything in balance. Dual casting. A we're on destruction twenty six. That requires thirty for. Oh yeah, fire. See, I use fire a lot, don't I? Could certainly use that. If we get destruction up to thirty, could do fire spells and do twenty five percent more damage. Assuming the second one will be fifty. Fire damage causes targets to flee if their health is low. Oh really? I'm not sure if that's helpful. Oh, well, I suppose. It, XP wise it might not be helpful though is it shock frost yeah both 30 adept destruction apprentice destruction cast apprentice yeah we've got that already no Ca cast apprentice level all oh, right yeah apprentice level destruction spells for half magica well we don't have any yet though do we So it might be worth holding off on that. What's impact? Most destruction spells would stagger an opponent when dual cast. Right. Restoration, we have done the first one, I think. No, we haven't. So we haven't taken... We haven't got half magicka on restoration, which is healing ourselves. Lock. Blocking is 20% more. Yeah, we're not using blocking them, are we? One-handed. We've done the first one, I think. We've done the first two. And we can't do another one until we've got 40. That's fair enough. Bows do 20% more damage. I'm going to do the bow last because I'm not using it a huge amount. Light armor. Well, we could do the second of those. Increase armor rating for light armor 40%. Let's do it. Excellent. Right, I think the next one will be... Next one will be the restoration at Half Magicka, I think. Just try to remember what my dragon shout button was. And also, where does it tell me when it's ready? Is it at the top? When the top goes white, is it? Looks like it, doesn't it? Oof. Yeah, there we go. I always forget to use my dragon shouts in a tight spot. Are we not meant to be going up rather than down there? That's something. That's the right way. No, not really. There's a view for you. I mean, I would easily take 60 frames per second over 4K. Like, I would take a nice 1440p with 60 if, rather than a, a 4K at 30 without any shadow of a doubt. It's just so nice to play. But again, I still yet to understand why we can't have 40 or 50 FPS. Why they have to, you know, why does it have to be from 30 to 60? There has to be a reason for it. 
Some sort of in between would be nice if they can't quite make the 60, but that is nice though. This is gorgeous. Most of the time. Take a picture. Search empty chest. No, I don't want to do that. I want to deliver something. How do I... Um... I am carrying my bloody dragon bones around me. I could give them to Lydia. Yeah, Clemex supplies. There we go. It's part of the quest, isn't it? Supplies. Cannot equip the... Oh, no, I wasn't trying to. Store. Okay. Bring the supplies to High Hrothgar. <laughs> it's brilliant. Open and close. Don't even get to see the artistry, the, the ornaments anymore. I spin them around. Hello. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I am answering your summons. You call me dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Demonstrate your unrelenting force shout. Force! Okay, I just did. Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. There. Uh, what? I just did shout it. Force! Oh, there you go. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. <laughs> Don't worry, your shout won't hurt us. Oh, fuck it out. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Who are you and what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I am answering your summons, Master. I am ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master, oh, I will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. 
Control means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. I've got your back. Lydia, I need you to do something. Uh, I needed to move out of the way is what I needed to do. I need you to do something. All right. What is it? You've entered the command state. <laughs> I've just learned a new shout. I think that's what that's doing. Okay, got it. learning a word of power. Anything else? No, just wait there. You must unlock its meaning through constant. Before you get killed. In order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn. You can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Whoa, dude. Learn the word of power from Einarth. Demonstrate your unrelenting force shout. Hey, have I not? That's the one I've got already, isn't it? Yeah. Shout to strike the target. Force rock. Press RB to shout. The longer you hold it, the more words will be spoken. All oh, right, okay. Force rock. How cool is that? Okay. Again. That only seems to do two words. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Have to wait for it to go white, though, don't I? Quickly. Once more. Uh what? <laughs> what did you just do, mate? No, I've got two done. Thank you. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Coming, Master Bori. Lydia, you wait there. It's insane. It took about a minute to get out of here. <laughs> or go through any door for that matter. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Ah, uh, there we go. Before you can project it into a thumb. Whirlwind. Get it on then. Ah, 
Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Now, your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through with Open them. All right. <laughs> What's asking me to do? He keeps moving the bloody arrow. Come on now. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I thought it was this easy for everyone. <laughs> I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. We should have another quest now. Yeah, the horn of Jürgen Windcaller. Oh, that music. Why are dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Surely there's more you can tell me? There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. And... Why are shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. When can I meet your leader? As I said, you will know you are ready. When your voice can open the path to him. Well, I feel like it wasn't that late on that I met Parthenax, but anyway. Tell me about the Greybeards. Who is who was Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, 
and the way of the voice was born. And what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Timirith at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. But I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? I will, tr I will try to follow the way of the voice. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Okay, that'll do for now, I think. What does it mean to be dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities. Whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Okay, I don't know why that top one's still white, because I already used it. The appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely... So, there is a... Yeah, there's a shout you get that lets you stop that wind and that's when you can get through pretty sure the parting of the winds right onward then Hey Lydia, I'm done now. We heading out? Follow me. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. Very kind. Right, well, what are we gonna do next? We could go for the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller, or we could do In My Time of Need. Where is the... Oh, it's already highlighted, actually. The horn of Jorgen Windcaller is over there. So we can teleport to... Well, Dragon's Reach, I suppose. Fort Greymore. Might be easier from Fort Greymore. Did we actually... We haven't cleared any of those, have we? We've only discovered them. Need to do a bit of wondering, people. Yeah, a bit of wonderer. Hey, the wonderer. Bleak Bulls, Bleak Bulls Farrow, pardon? <laughs> Bleak, Bleak Falls Barrow was cleared. We've got the Western Watchtower, we've got the... Oh, they've, the Western Watchtower's where the dragon was, isn't it? So, yeah, that's the fort that was next to it. Then clear it out. I think we'll just go for that and just discover stuff on the way. But we've also got Windhelm, Winterhold, Dawnstar, Ustingrav, Morthal and Solitude all up there to see. Falkreath. 
It's interesting. Oh, Helgen. I once knew her. I was once sweet on a girl from Helgen. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that, Stephen. Come on. Well, I think we'll head toward Jurgen Windcaller. But that said, I think we shall wrap it up there for this part. So we are approaching an hour mark. Yeah, we've got quite a bit done there. Got the quest done. It is. It is beautiful. If we can get, if we can get a, a 60 FPS patch for that, it's going to be great, isn't it? Lovely. Well, there you are. I enjoyed that. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.